please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you are already a dreamer. Welcome, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Okay, today we are going to be talking about these adorable dope beanies I made with my Racoma EM1010. Y'all, look at that. Yes, it does say Queen Dreamer and it has a crown. I'm geeked. I am too excited. Yes, yes, yes. This is going to be a new product line coming out. Shout out to my mama's fonts. Queen and Dreamer's my mom's fonts. Shout out to my digitizer, Sharon, True Couture Designs. And y'all, I love this. I love my Racoma. Let's talk about this Racoma deals that we have going on right now because... Hey guys, at Racoma, they have a wonderful Cyber Week sale. You can save up to 70% off select items, okay? So you can use my affiliate link down in the description below. Click that link and go to sale. And then look and check out all of these sales that they have. This will be running until Friday, December 2nd, 2022 at 6 p.m. During this week, select products are on sale up to 70% off, including some heat presses, you guys. And we have chroma our digitizing software will be 25 percent off like i said use my link look at these sales check out these sales guys i had to let y'all know this this is a wonderful cyber week sale at racoma once so again my link will be down in the description but let's get to making this beanie i'm geeked about this y'all okay i love the way this turned out so i do have a disclaimer there is a certain way that you have to do a beanie because it like flips around Around, so it's a little bit hard to explain so with the beanie you first have to turn it inside out you turn it inside out and then once it's inside out you make sure that the design when you actually turn it the right side around and you flip it up that it'll be up it's kind of hard to explain but as I go through the video you'll see so what I'm doing right now is I'm putting my cutaway stabilizer inside of my beanie as you can see the tag that beanie is inside out and then <laughs> I know I probably could have used my other stand but it was already on here so I just kept it and just let it do what it did okay y'all see that stabilizer is tight yeah well y'all barely can see it I'm sorry about that camera angle but you want to make sure that that stabilizer is tight and so that it can stitch really really well now you can see the first time I did on the other side it came out good it just was upside down anywho now that we have the stabilizer on there and we have that the beanie is down at the bottom of the hoop because what we're going to do is make sure that when we flip it over that it's in the right position so this was my second time ever doing the beanie the first time was a success besides the words being upside down but that's okay and you see it's nice and tight can y'all see how nice that beanie is inside of the hoop I'm actually proud of that little hoop. Come on, Mighty Hoops. Get it together. So now we're going to go ahead and go to my Racoma EM1010. And we're going to go ahead and place it onto the machine, making sure everything is nice and snapped inside of there really well. What I am going to do is I'm going to make sure that the beanie is open so that I won't stitch and thread the two sides together. I'm going to make sure that it's open. I'm also going to make sure that I grab my water-soluble topping so that it won't so that the needles won't go too deep inside of this soft fabric okay so this is really important depending on if you're using like soft and fluffy types of fabric I just clicked that thread button and my threads were already the colors that they needed to be because I had just did it upside down the first time <laughs> so I'm making sure my threading is uh, all correct the logo is the correct side up I'm making sure that everything is centered everything is correct and then what I'm going to do is trace it you always want to trace it so you can make sure that the thread that the needle does not hit the hoop okay you don't want that that can cause the needle to break and you just don't want those problems okay so you actually trace it twice to make sure everything is all set and once everything is traced you are good to go so i did go ahead and trace it a couple times because i'm moving it around to make sure that it's in the right position and, and the position that I want it to be in. And then we are ready to go. Please be careful of those needles with your fingers. You do not want to cut yourself. 
oh no you don't want to do that so be very very careful so now we're just going to go ahead and see how the machine works a couple of these are sped up but some of them aren't i just want you to see how it actually really works because it's really cool and it's really therapeutic so i'm just going to throw some music up you guys can watch it go ahead and thread this out and then i'm going to come and talk to you in the end Okay, y'all, how adorable was that? Like I said, I have to shout out my mom again for her fonts and then Sharon again for this digitizing because it did that. Now we are all done and this is gonna be the first time that I'm actually successful using this topping, y'all. It turned out so good. Look at that, yes, Queen Dreamer, yes. So I'm taking over to my table and I'm gonna pull it off for the first time and okay that part wasn't so bad that came off pretty good but i'm not even gonna hold y'all up the inside of taking this off was a little bit more to my desire I, I didn't know what it was gonna be like and because of the letters and stuff that i had it was a little bit more intricate and i did not want to mess up the threading or the beanie so you do want to be careful but i was able to get a lot of it off with my nails but then i did have to use some different tweezers and different devices i said let me take it out of here and we're gonna set this on the table so that i could go ahead and um those magnets are strong go ahead take that cutaway off and so that I can get that off. Look how good that looks, y'all. I love looking at the back of it because, yes, we did it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. And then we're going to go ahead and get the rest of everything off. And you guys are going to see how it looks. But I absolutely love this. It was not hard at all once I figured out the right side up. Y'all see, I was using every tool I could think of, a weezer, a weezer, a weeder, a tweezer, a scissors, everything. It turned out really cute. So now I'm flipping it the right way and then I'm going to go ahead and roll it up and we're going to see what happens. Y'all, and the first time I'm clipping any um, thread or anything off and the first time that I flipped it up, I flipped it up on the actual wrong side that I had. So I was like, <gasps> And then I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. It's the other side. <laughs> I'm like, wait, no, it's the other side. So I'm getting it all together and making sure it's in the camera frame. And bam, booyah, Queen Dreamer. Stop playing with it. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I absolutely love it. I could put my um, beanie down a little bit further the next time, but I think for my second try, I think I did that. I think it's cute. Let me lift it. Look at that. Look at that. Look how adorable it is. And then I actually did go ahead and put a little bit, real little bit of water on it to help get it off. <laughs> 
because I wanted it to look super cute and super professional. But look, y'all, in the end, we did that. Yes, I love it. So cute. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so happy with this. And I'm going to be doing some more. So, yay. I'm not sure if you picked up what I said earlier, but we will be having our product line, our Queen Dreamer product line. And I'm going to be making so many items and different things for us dreamers. And this is one of the first things that we're making. So you heard correctly, more to come. And that's a wrap. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, holla at your girl. If you have not already, please join our Facebook group, Crafty Queen Dreamer. We love it over there. Follow me on Instagram, do dream one is the handle. TikTok, do dream one is the handle. And I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.